Hello and welcome back to the JNCIS Security Training Series. In this section we will be discussing zones. We will talk about what a zone is, what a zone is used for, types of zones, configuration of zones, monitoring of zones, configuration commands related to zones, and we will look at how to specify types of traffic permitted into the device. So let's get started. Zones are an important part of understanding Juno security. A zone is a set of one or more network segments that have identical security requirements. Logical interfaces, which are connections to specific subnets, get assigned to zones and security policies are applied between the zones. By default, all network interfaces belong to the system-defined null zone. All traffic to or from the null zone is dropped. Special interfaces including FXP0, Management Ethernet Interface present in most SRX series platforms, Chassis Cluster Fabric Interfaces, and Internal System EM0 Interfaces cannot be assigned to a zone. All normal interfaces are initially assigned to the null zone, which drops all traffic to or from it. Special interfaces such as FXP0, FAB0, and EM0 cannot be assigned to a zone. Interfaces cannot be assigned to more than one zone or routing instance, and all of the zone interfaces must be in the same routing instance. Multiple routing instances can run on the same device. Each instance has its own routing and forwarding tables and one or more zones. Security zones are one or more segments that require security policies to handle traffic. There are several other zones that are usable, including functional zones, which cannot be used in policies or for transit traffic, the null zone, which drops all traffic in and out of it, and the Junos host zones. Zones and interfaces. You can assign one or more logical interfaces to a zone. You can also assign one or more logical interfaces to a routing instance. You cannot assign a logical interface to multiple zones or multiple routing instances. You must also ensure that all zones logical interfaces are in a single routing instance. Violating any of these restrictions result in a configuration error as shown in these examples. The graphic here summarizes logical relationships between interfaces, zones, and routing instances. Logical interfaces are connections to specific subnets. Zones are logical groupings of logical interfaces with a common security requirement, and a logical interface can belong to only one zone. Zone configuration can be as simple as a two-zone setup, where all interfaces connected to internal networks in one zone and all interfaces connected to the external world are in a different zone. A more complicated configuration might divide interfaces between an internal department or function in addition to external and demilitarized zones connections. A physical device can be broken up into multiple routing instances. A routing instance is a logical routing construct within a platform running the Junos OS. Each routing instance maintains its own routing table and forwarding table. A routing instance can contain one or more zones, which cannot be shared with other routing instances. The zones within the Junos OS can be divided into two categories, user-defined and system-defined. You can configure user-defined zones, but you cannot configure system-defined zones. You can subdivide the user-defined category into security and functional zones. Let's take a look at a functional zone now. For inbound traffic to be processed by the Junos host zone, the traffic has to be allowed by the host inbound traffic settings of an ingress security zone, after which a normal policy lookup will be done from the ingress zone to the Junos host zone. You can also use the Junos host zone to control or apply services to host inbound traffic. An example of this controlling service to host outbound traffic would be to configure a security policy to allow host outbound traffic through a policy-based VPN. Traffic is permitted through the Junos host zone 
unless otherwise explicitly denied by a user-defined security policy. Let's take a look at this host zone configuration. It demonstrates a configuration example for using the Junos host zone with a security policy. In this case, the Junos host zone is specified in the two zone context with the policy. FTP and ping traffic are allowed as host inbound traffic on the untrust zone as shown in the INET security zone configuration. The host inbound FTP and ping traffic are then evaluated by the security policy from the untrust zone to the Junos host zone. In this case, if the ping traffic has a source address of 172.20.1.10, it will be denied. Otherwise, it will be allowed. Also, all FTP traffic will be allowed, and if the FTP traffic has a source address of 10.10.10.1, the traffic will be logged on the session initialization.